Hey tubers, welcome back to another vid. This one, uh, the first in a uh, series of videos, is going to be focusing on using uh, JMRI Decoder Pro, which is a free software downloadable from JMRI.com. Head over there and a shout out to you guys uh, over there at JMRI for making life so much easier for people uh, trying to program their decoders and uh, using and DCC. And the uh, connection that I have going from uh, this particular computer, uh, I have a USB right here, and uh, then that's going down over to this USB device right here, which allows the computer then to interface with the uh, NCE power cab system and uh, this little guy right here it's got everything you need in it it's the command station and booster and it's good for about uh, two or three locomotives uh, with sound in HO scale so taking a look over here at the tablet uh, I'm gonna bring up JMRI and this is what we have as far as an existing uh, small database just for uh, basic programming. Anyways, I've uh, taken the liberty of already reading back uh, all of the uh, decoder values from the factory equip equipped uh, Tsunami uh, 2 decoders and that's what I've uh, labeled this guy right here. Uh, this one right here is the factory value and then this line up above is I've copied three defaults and I've made a custom file. So I have the base defaults down here. So whenever I go to program one of these SD70 or SD75s with the Tsunami 2 decoder, if I want to create a custom file, I just copy it and then I can make my changes and name it as uh, according to my, our naming convention here in the shop. So. So located down in the lower right hand corner is the programming button. Um, I can also access a throttle uh, or I can do two types of programming. Um, currently I have it set for programming on the main. So whenever we make a change uh, to a CV, we can see the effects in real time. If I want to read back or I want to make sure that uh, what I'm doing programming wise is taking a uh, hold to the decoder, I can bring up the uh, programming track. Click on it and it'll bring up the programming on main. And the first screen that we have is the roster entry. So I can go through, fill out all of this information uh, in order uh, to identify the decoder and locomotive that we're programming. You'll notice that at the top of the screen are your menu tabs, and this allows you to do and access all of your programming. So for example, I'm gonna click on the basic tab, and here we have the ability to program our addresses,